This is a demo I have created for the extended mail merge template. So I am going to explain you actually what is extended mail merge. And before extended mail merge, there was a standard mail merge. Standard mail merge have a few drawbacks like it runs only on client side. You need ActiveX control. And if I am talking about ActiveX control, it obviously needs Internet Explorer. And also it will only work in office to, it will not work in office 2010 and only works in 2002 train 7 also the windows 7 lots of time is not supported by the standard mail merge so because of all these problems salesforce have an extended mail merge there are many advantage of extended mail merge over the standard mail merge for example uh, it runs on server side it almost as it runs on server side it almost supports all browser it supports all office versions but the condition is it must be saved in either 97 and 2003 format now how to enable extended mail merge template first of all you have to create a case to salesforce and ask salesforce to enable extended mail merge for your all so let's say if it is enabled in your all you can directly go to the user interface and in the advanced section you can see these two options now you just have to select you have to enable it and you can you can see the other options also there so just enable both of them and then click on the save button and you are good to go and you are good to use the extended mail merge template here Now we are going to create a uh, first we have to create a mass mail merge template so you have to go to the communication template and then you can create a new mail merge before doing that we have to create a Microsoft Word document and Word document we have to write whatever our template so for example I have this template where it is I am assuming that I am going to run this for the contact so I am going to explain add hello contact first name and other field i am going to use is a contact phone number now we have to go to the insert quick part fields and in that field we have to search for the merge field and you have to paste field name now we cannot read, write it down by our own hands but we strictly have to follow this process to go insert and insert a quick part now you can see that any field of any custom object or in standard object must be preceded with the object name underscore field name. For example, object name is con contact and the field name is first name. So it becomes contact underscore first name. And in the same way it goes with the phone number. Now we have created this document. I am going to save this document on my desktop first and i am giving the name of the document as xmm demo or you can give any name to this document and then just save it on your desktop now what we are going to do we are going to upload this document in our mail merge template now when you create a mail merge template the document type can be document label or envelope and you have to give the name name can be anything so for this demo i have my document type is nothing but the document now i am choosing the same file which i have saved on my desktop and save it now i am going to i am going for the contact home page and at the bottom of contact home page there is a link which says mass mail merge uh, you can select either one contact or you can select more than one contact for this demo i am selecting only one contact now you have to select the type of the document either document envelope or label as we have created a mail merge only for document so i have selected that now my document is appearing here now it is giving me an option that should i create a separate document for each record or i can create a single document which will have all the record decision will be yours 
Now we can see the preview also that instead of the saving document in the personal folder, we can just preview and see how our mail merge template is working. Once you are done, you will see the notification that email will be sent to you once mail merge is completed. Now, and if the, it is completed, it will be saved in a personal document. So I'm just going to refresh this tab and say we are done. Mail merge is already created. You can just see that how it is created by clicking on the view button or the download button. And let's say we are going to see how how the document is generated. Now one thing we have to take care that now one thing we have to take care that if the field is blank it will display it as an underscore underscore so in our case if you say the contact first name is already there but the phone number is represented as underscore underscore 